Hey everyone, it's Nemo. So I recently took a bit of a break uh, from making music because I had a lot of exams at school, but now I finally have the time to focus on making music again. And uh, I started working on an EP featuring my own songs. I've started working on a live album featuring some of the songs from my old band, ABC No D, and I've started developing a new live act. So I realized in order to get all this stuff done, I had to part ways with my old trusty iMac that I got when I was eight years old. Uh, and I now use this uh, uh, MacBook Pro, which is working out really well for me. And I also switched uh, from Cubase to Pro Tools, which is also working out really well for me because it doesn't crash on me the whole time. So I now realize that a problem is this army baby face that I've been using for half of my life doesn't work anymore because it doesn't have enough inputs and in addition it draws power uh, from a USB source which also doesn't work out for me. So today I got this bad boy in the mail, uh, Focusrite Red 4 Pre uh, and I also got a 19 inch rack which I will be putting this into today. Alright so before we put this into the rack and we can't see this anymore I'll show you the back of this thing real quick. So first we have power, then we have two Dante audio over ethernet ports. We have external clocking, uh, 16 channels of optical ADA in and out, and we have the Thunderbolt ports here, which are good for the older MacBooks, but I had to get this clunky adapter, which is Thunderbolt to USB-C, and I'm really hoping this works. So here we have the ports for Avid's uh, Pro Tool hardware, and here's the digital audio SPDIF ports. Um, here are two inch, uh, sorry, no, quarter inch uh, line level balanced outputs, which I'm going to be using for my Atom uh, monitors. Here's uh, eight balanced line inputs and another six balanced uh, line outputs. Then here, finally, we have the uh, four XLR inputs, which uh, you can use to connect mics to the famous Focusrite microphone preamps, which are contained in this very new audio interface. So this is my new 19 inch rack and before I put my audio interface into it I'm going to be putting this Furman M10XE into here which is essentially a glorified power strip. So I got this in and I realized it probably would have been a lot easier to do so if this rack would have been on its back but I got the job done and now for the audio interface. Alright so I encountered the first snag while setting up this rack which is that the rack ears on the audio interface are actually so thick that the screws that came with the rack are too short and only protrude about two millimeters and I'm going to need a lot more than that. Alright, so I managed to find these in the basement. Alright, so these big boys seem to fit a lot better. Alright, so I got both these units screwed in and I'm liking the way that this rack is starting to look. So, let's see if this works. It doesn't. Fuck. Alright, let's try this again. Nice. Alright, smacking. The next step is going to be connecting this to my MacBook. I think I'm going to need a driver for the interface, so I'm going to try to find it, download it, and then plug this thing into my computer. Alright, so I found the packet that I need. It's called Focusrite Control. Uh, I downloaded it, and I'm going to install it now. So the software installed just fine, but it says no hardware connected because no hardware is connected. So this is where the adapter comes into play. I'm going to try to plug this into my computer now. Alright, so not much seems to be happening. I'll try restarting the application, maybe that will help. So this took a couple of hours to solve. Uh, the first problem that I faced was that the ports on the back of my monitor are actually USB-C and not Thunderbolt, uh, which I didn't realize because they have the exact same form factor. That was pretty easy to solve. All I had to do was put the uh, Thunderbolt right into my MacBook. Uh, the second problem that I faced was a little bit harder to track down, which was uh, that Apple was actually secretly prohibiting 
the um, Focusrite driver from functioning. So I had to go to security and privacy and my system preferences and allow that to work on my computer. So this is um, this is what the Focusrite control looks like now. I can control the interface with my computer. I really uh, would have hoped it wouldn't have taken this long, uh, but I mainly blame Apple for not giving me any warning messages. So I hooked Megatar up to the audio interface and I got it to work with Pro Tools. Uh, right now I have the Meza Boogie emulation loaded up uh, from Plugin Alliance, uh, so let's see what this sounds like. Sounds good, but I'm really tired, so I'm going to go to bed now.